Hello. I'm Andrea. And I'm Larry. <laughs> we have a 12 foot <laughs> skeleton that we're putting together. That's right. In this box right here. Pretty big. Big old box. Yep. So. We yes. are going to crack it open <laughs> and show you what's inside and yep. get started. Oh my God. <laughs> there we go. Okay, well this is what we got. Look at that. So yeah, it's a pretty good sized uh, mitt there. <laughs> Alright, so it looks like we got some various uh, little parts here. Uh, I believe this is the stand. He's gonna, goes on the bottom. So let's see here. Yeah. So let's open this thing. Oh, so they're all leather. Right. Okay. Oh, look at that. Look at this spine there. Yeah, so we're just going to take them out, everything out of the box here and just lay it out so we see what we have. Yeah. Oh my God. So we're just gonna throw everything out onto the lawn here. Look at his pelvis. Ooh. Yeah. Look at that. <laughs> That's fun. Oh. Okay. Okay, so there's gonna be. Here we go. What's little up? bag of goodies. Yeah. So we can start. Okay. What else do we have? Okay, another box X. I wonder if that goes next. Let's put, oh, this is just the cord. This is the, the cord because um, he has um lcd eyes so that's the cord for that so let's set all the hardware stuff like on the sidewalk so we don't lose it in the grass just so we can kind of like see that. what's up yeah just like over wherever well do i set the i set the cord over there do you want it over there yeah do you want to put the take out the instructions yeah okay. go. maybe we might need these <laughs> Are you gonna try to wing it? no no, I'll look. Once we get everything out of the box, we'll kind of take a quick look at the how-to instructions here. Look at those feet. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Compared to mine? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Grab this here. Look at that. That's pretty cool. Oh my gosh, look at this. Is that his head? Oh, it is. Okay. What? Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> that is cool. Okay, so I think we got everything out of the box, I believe. Or not. In there. Okay. There's a knife. There we go. Okay, so it looks like once we get this box open here, that's everything in the big box. Everything else is out on the yard. So, got his feet and hands. Uh, base here. I got pelvis, various arms and leg bones here. I'm sure. I'm not sure which one is which at this moment. Uh, rib cage, spine, of course his head, <laughs> right there. And those look like some sort of support brackets. 
And then we got a few items over here. Um, it looks like some stakes probably for the base and electrical cord. Yeah. So I'm going to take a quick look at the instructions and we'll be right back. Okay, everybody. So I'm back. I took a quick look at the instructions. Seemed to be pretty straightforward. I went ahead and started some of the assembly. Um, probably just going to take it two or three steps at a time. Um, show you what I did, show you the instructions, and then we'll just piece them together. So first thing, put this base down here. Then you slide his two feet on over the top. Then you put one of these metal bars for his leg supports on. Those are on right here. Here's the top sticking out here at the top. These two guys. And then you slide his part of his shin bone here, lower leg bone, over the top. These guys right here and they are cut out they have this kind of this cut out right here on the top the shape here and that kind of pops in to uh, the bottom piece here on his ankle so it kind of does kind of fit in there where it's not just free spinning that one is a little bit but so that's that's him so far like I said pretty pretty easy so far but we'll uh, take a few more steps here and continue to build him up flip around so yeah I mean I'm five this four. this is just obviously just the bottom half here and Andrea can walk underneath of him <laughs> with plenty of room to spare I think we're gonna have to cut some branches yeah we uh, thought he would fit underneath our trees here but not thinking so but the instructions um, so far have been pretty self-explanatory um, pretty good um, these support little bars in here they just click together i have this little pin here you push in then they slide over the top and then that's that's how he's getting put together and then these plastic bone pieces hollow uh, plastic here just get slid over the top and actually the i mean they are hollow but it's pretty thick i mean it's not flimsy at all you know feels pretty 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 sturdy um to get his pelvis on here um, that was a little tricky. Um, I just did it by myself, but instructions do recommend uh, two people are using a ladder. Um, I had some problems. I got one side kind of started, and then I got the other side kind of started here, but I couldn't get it to slide down um, far enough to click in. Um, so I had to kind of fidget with that a little bit, um, but I got it. It just took a couple extra minutes. That's the only problem so far that I've had. Um, like I said, everything is labeled well. It's got little stickers on here. Um, so you know what piece to grab right here all the way down so far even the base his feet everything has been labeled even the support bars inside here have uh, stickers on them to let you know which ones to grab and basically you're just putting them together slowly like a puzzle so yeah <laughs> look at those hands <laughs> so what we've got now let me show you here turn the camera around So we had him built all the way up to his pelvis here. Um, and then the instructions suggested lay him down um, over, this, over the box that he came in here. And then there was another one of those reinforcement bars that you slide on here that attaches right here in the pelvis. Um, and then you slide his rib cage and this whole piece over the top of that reinforcement bar um, there is a, a wire that plugs in um, down here um, this is the power source for his eyes um, that you plug it in here the other end of the wire runs all the way up through here and then comes out right here where you plug in the skull which is right here so um, that was pretty easy um, it does um, require I would say two people um, it was a little easier for one person to kind of hold up and kind of position the, the rib cage portion around a little bit to get it to slide over that reinforcement bar. But once we got it on there, it was pretty, pretty easy and it just slides on. Um, there's this little 
little cable hook right here, which will help secure him once he stands up um, to the ground to give him more stable. Um, and we did put on part of his upper arm here, this side, of course this side. Um, again, everything has been uh, labeled really nicely. Um, it's got little stickers here. You can see all over. Um, instructions have been pretty, pretty spot on so far. Um, it did not come with. Uh, you do tighten. You do tighten. Let me back up just one second. You do tighten the arms on, right here, with a little um, Allen wrench or hex key. One of these guys right here, just to tighten these down. Um, but that's pretty, that's a pretty common little thing. So now we are, like I said, he is positioned right here. Um, and I believe we we're going to stand him back up. And then Andrew, <laughs> Andrew still has his hands <laughs> right there. Hmm? How are we going to reach his head to put his head on? Oh, um, well, 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 we'll take a look at that. We might not stand him up quite yet. We might put his head on, I guess, actually. Andrew just brought up a good point. How are we going to reach his head? Um, I do have a ladder, of course, out here just in case. Um, but we're going to proceed with the next Standing step. Standing back up. He's right behind us here. So we had him laying down on the box. And we had put on the rib cage, the two upper arms, and we hadn't put the head on quite yet, but that was, I guess, the next step. So, um, there is this cable right here you put on. Kind of gives him a little more uh, reinforcement um, to help him because he is pretty top heavy. So, you put this cable on down here. There's a couple of is some uh, hooks. Um, there they are, right there. So a little hook and so this cable runs from the bay up to about mid spine there's a little loop um eyelet you put in there you screw into his that reinforcement bar that runs down his spine loop it down through that loop all the way back down to another hook on the other side so he's hooked here and he's hooked there like i said that just gives him a little more stability um, to get his head on, come around this side. Um, that was pretty easy. Um, again, I would recommend at least two people probably because you do have to kind of support, uh, lift up his rib cage and part of his neck a little bit to get his head to line up um, to get that to pop on. And then you do actually plug in the power cord that runs all the way from back underneath here. Yep, underneath here, runs up the spine, out his neck, and then you attach it to the skull. And then you gotta tuck those wires kind of down into his like spine a little bit, that and that's that's good. Andrew's got one arm and one hand out there, yeah, and those just twist on. Yeah, you can position the arms a little bit. So we are almost done. Uh, like I said, we just got a, the arms, forearms and hands, and they just kind of pop on right there. You twist it, and then it's good. Um, and it also does come with some base extenders. This little piece right here, um, there's four of them, one on each corner. Um, it pops on to give the base a little bit of a wider stance because he is pretty top heavy, so that's nice. And then, nice. <laughs> so we are strangling a little skeleton there. And then I'm going to put his other arm on. And then, so there's that. Also, we're almost done. Like I said, we have been following the instructions pretty much from the start, which they've been pretty good. Haven't had any problems. And look, one last thing. And I do believe there are some stakes that you can put into the ground. Let's see here. Yeah. So it does come also come with four pretty good sized anchors or stakes. That looks like looks like they Yeah, so right here, it has you just actually put them into the stand itself instead of having like a separate tie down. So it comes with four stakes, 
Um, and those go right in to the base here. It's like that. Um, it's four of them, one on each corner. So we are almost done. So we are all done. We got them all put together. He's standing up behind us. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. We had um, the FedEx guy stopped and backed up and looked at him. <laughs> yeah, the yeah, FedEx guy drove by, yeah, and he stopped and backed up and asked us where in the heck we got that thing, which we got it at Home Depot, <laughs> right? <laughs> anyway, so like I said, he is behind us. Um, assembly, pretty good, to be honest, right? Mm -hmm. Went pretty together easy. pretty quick. Yeah. Um, maybe took an hour altogether, um, something like that. Just but, it, it took longer because we had to trim the trees. Yeah, we did take a break to trim some of the trees um, to just to make sure you had enough room. But that's, really, the instructions were pretty clear, I thought. Mm -hmm. um, we just followed them pretty much step by step, um, two or three steps at a time. And then we would show you guys how it went. And pretty easy. Mm -hmm. But so check him out. Um, we don't have him plugged in yet. We were going to wait till it got a little darker um, to do that. But yeah, check him out. So here he is. Smashing, already got him stomping on a little skeleton guy there. <laughs> but he is 12 feet tall. All the way up. And we have him grabbing a little skeleton guy there. And he's got a little skeleton skull right here. So yeah. Pretty awesome. Can't wait to get him all hooked up and the lights on. His eyes light up. And we're kind of slowly working on our front yard. Um, got kind of our norm, kind of little cemetery scene going on. And we kind of slowly add to it as it gets closer to Halloween. We don't like put everything out at once. So it kind of let everybody, you know, they, they walk by or drive by. It's like, oh, we added something different. Oh, we added something different. And we try to add something new every year. And to this year it was 12 foot skeleton. <laughs> so this is what it looks like when you walk up from the sidewalk. Got some pumpkins in our tree here. Some of our Halloween decorations out. Our 12 foot skeleton. Get a closer look at that in just a second. And there are other trees. Again, it's a closer look at the 12 foot skeleton. All done. Those eyes are so cool. Thanks for stopping by and, and checking out our video of our assembly of our 12 foot skeleton we put together today. I think it looks great. Yeah, it looks so awesome. And I'll see you next time.